even though you know how to uh, convert the uh, uh, binary uh, b uh, bits into hex or binary values into hex uh, this is this is an example or a sheet where it shows how we can represent binary values into hex uh, you can uh, see that uh, by yourself In previous slide, you have seen R type instructions where the instruction length was 32 bit and it was broken down into various fields to represent the R type instruction. In this slide, we have I type instruction. This instruction length is also 32 bit. It has opcode, it has RS, which is source, and RT, which is a uh, so, uh, uh, and then the RT is the destination, uh, and then if there is a constant field in uh, here. So, if I write an uh, I type instruction, let's say it's a add, add I, uh, let's say 10, 11, and 13. So, this is the constant field, uh, sorry, constant uh, value, and this value will be represented in binary form in this field. So the length of this value or the or the range should I say range of this value is between this minus 2 to the power 15 to plus 2 to the power 15 minus 1. In R type instruction we have seen that the opcode will be 6 0 but here the opcode will be other than 0. Now uh, design principle good design demands good practice as a, if you can uh, compare or if you can see that R type instruction and I type instruction, both of them are 32 bit, which means uh, the designer kept the instruction length same, just uh, but they changed the, the, uh, the but uh, they changed the fields uh, to represent different instructions. MIPS I type instruction, uh, I type format instruction. So. Uh, we, we already have in in the previous slide i have i have uh, shown you add i instruction i have shown you add i instruction here we will be use uh, we'll be looking at load and store we already know what is load and store load is when we are bringing some information or data from load means when we are bringing some information from memory to inside the register and store means when we are sending some information or data from the register to the memory location and we also know how to calculate this part so this will be our base address this this two will be our base address and this is our offset this is what we call offset now uh, uh, we already know how this works so uh, we can see that this is the uh, this is the second element of the array and this is the uh, third element of the array that we are looking for so uh, the, this instruction is load t not 4 s3 which means the base address in s3 and we would we will add 4 plus whatever the content inside s3 this would give us a memory location and the pointer will go to that memory location and uh, whatever the value this memory location contains whatever the value this memory location contains it will come to t naught this is how this is going to work and for a uh, store operation whatever the value t naught is going to hold is going to go to this address. This is how memory operation or data transfer, as it says here, uh, data transfer operation works. Uh, and in data for data transfer, we use load and store. Both load and store, they are of I type instructions, so they follow the format that we have seen in the last slide. In this slide, we will see how load instruction can be mapped into an I type format because load and store they are I type instruction. So this will this slide will show us how we can map load instruction into the I type format. So as you can see that this is our opcode. This part is uh, this part is our opcode. So this, this opcode will map here, and then we have R S that is source source is our base address the register that will hold the base address so the, this register number will go in the source field and then we have the destination 
which the, the register that will hold the value after we bring the value from the memory. This slide will also show us how we can figure out the target memory address and bring the value from that memory address to the destination register when we are handling load instruction. Let's stick to this, this example where we are uh, trying to uh, execute this instruction which says load T0 that means destination T0 and what is going to store in T0 what, what is going to be loaded into T0. Uh, we are going to calculate the memory address just by uh, applying some arithmetic operation be, uh, with, uh, between this offset and the base address that this is to register host. So we already know that what operation that will be, that will be an addition operation. But to do this addition operation, we have this value. We already have the offset value, but we need to know what is inside S2. Inside S2, if we see, then inside S2, this, this value is stored. This value is a inside S2, which is actually memory address. Since S2 holds the base address of an array, so this is the base address of that array. So we need to figure out what would be the address of some another array element using this, this arithmetic. So uh, th this one, this 24 is in, is in decimal value and the memory address is in hex value. So we need to convert them into equal number system or same number system so we converted them into binary number system we did not convert this entire value because that will not be required so we just converted the lsb2 bits of this hex value which is this this one is 4 and this one represents 9 and this is by a binary representation of 24 so we did perform the arithmetic operation that is binary addition and after that we to get this result now, what we are actually trying to figure out uh, uh, through this arithmetic operation, we are trying to figure out the target memory address of some array element. So, the memory address would again be a, a hex value, uh, will, will, will be a hex value. So, how can we figure out that hex value? We just need to convert it into hex. So we take four bits uh, at a time and convert them into hex. So if we take this one and convert it into hex, and we take this one and we convert it into hex. As I said, that we would not be needing this one when we are performing the addition operation, but this is part of the memory address. So we need to consider them also. So in total, this whole number represents the target memory address which is this one. Now, next, what, what next? Now, what next? This memory address holds some values or some data or some content, if you want to say it like this. So, this content now will go to T0. So, as I said uh, previously, that when we are performing load or store operation, what happens? First of all, we need to figure out the target address. Once we are done figuring out the target address, then we need to read the value that is stored in the target address and bring it back to the destination register in case of load. And when we figure out the target address, then we need to uh, send a value from some uh, source register to a destination memory address in case of store. Another example of load store, uh, see how it works. Uh, so here we have an example load. It's register one. So the destination register is register one. We have offset is equal to 100 and the base address is stored in register. Base address is stored in register two. So uh, in general, if we want to uh, just to understand what this instruction means, this instruction actually means this. That is, register 1 will hold value that is in a memory, which memory? Base address and then add 100 with that. So, whatever the memory address that we get, we 
we take the value from that memory address and put it in S1. So in general term or a general uh, explanation, this is what this instruction means. Now, again, we are going to uh, convert it or encode this instruction according to the I type formatting. And this is how it, it would look like if we convert it into I type formatting. So uh, if we uh, if we'd like to see in a hardware perspective how this operation this operation this entire operation might look like or take place so rs which is our base address so it is a, a, a register and then we add it with immediate value after doing this we get a, a destination address once we have a destination address perform a read operation in that destination address and takes the value and store it into a register this is what uh, the physical uh, operation would look like 